Hey guys, welcome to my quarterly Blu-ray DVD update video. This one's from March 2017 to June 2017. And this time I kind of needed to split things up just because things are busy in my life and I have a lot of movies to talk about. So this video is coming out now and the next one should be at the end of June. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that I just posted my Wonder Woman review online. And if you go press that little I at the top or the link in the description, go check it out. Thanks. And first up, we have Logan. First off, right out of the gate, let's talk about Logan Noir, the black and white version that comes out in this movie. First of all, I really like the black and white disc, how Logan Noir kind of comes on its own disc, and it's not just a special feature on the normal Blu-ray. Um, I like that, and the actual movie looks really good too. I also got this Walmart exclusive edition. Uh, comes in this thick case, which I like. And it also comes with this little envelope with these cards. I'll show you a picture of them. It, it looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know what the purpose is. I don't really know how I'd display this, but overall, it's good. I'll leave Logan, because I've already reviewed it. I'll leave the link to that in the description, as well as all the other movies I say I've already seen. Overall, I love Logan. It's an 8 out of 10 for me. Next up, in preparation for Covenant, I got the Alien Anthology Collection. And I really like this. It comes in a book. Um, it's cool. It's different. It's not really a digi book because the the discs are in the actual book. Here's Alien Three. Take it out. It's pretty cool. Now I actually had the original Alien just on standard Blu-ray, and I watched it and loved it so much that I decided just to buy all of them because I thought I would want to watch all of them. And that ended up being a lie. But basically, I love Alien. That's a ten for me. I'm pretty sure. Aliens, I feel, was a little overhyped. I would give that maybe a 7. And Alien 3, I couldn't even get through 30 minutes. It was so boring. And 4, I didn't give a shot. But then I also got Prometheus right here. And I like Prometheus. It's a 6 for me. Um, good movie. It's really different to Alien. So I understand how people were pissed back in 2012 when they went into this thinking it was an Alien movie. As a standalone, it's good and its ties to Covenant work very well. I really like the mesh of Covenant, how it's really a sequel to Prometheus and also the next Alien movie. But overall, really liked Prometheus too. And also, since I was kind of on a Ridley Scott mood, I got Blade Runner. I want to talk about this in the future. I don't know when, probably before 2049. That is if things work out, I'm not sure. And I also don't know what cut, because as of now, I've only seen the final cut, but I would kind of like to... I don't know if I'm going to watch it five times to see all five cuts, but I'd like to compare the original to the final cut. So hopefully this one said on Amazon and include the final cut and it didn't. So yeah, this is an expired UV code. I'm not going to use it. If one of you guys wants to try and see if it works, here you go. Have a good day. Next up, I also got gold. Um, I won this in a contest on Twitter. I don't know, I haven't watched it yet to be honest, but hopefully I'll check it out. Hopefully it'll be good. And finally, my newest most prized possession Blu-ray, The Room. And it's actually signed by Tommy Wiseau. Uh, you can see right there. He said on it, to Ben, love you something, love Tommy Wiseau. Um, yeah, this is a really bad Blu-ray transfer actually. It's like impossible, there's bad frequencies. Um, it has disc art though, unlike some of the other movies I have here, and I don't know, I love this movie so much, it's probably the worst thing I've ever seen, and it's also probably the funniest thing I've ever seen at the same time. I love The Room. Maybe I'll talk about it one day, who knows. So those were sort of the movies I just decided to buy because I wanted to, or I, those are the more new releases except The Room and Alien or whatever. And the next movies I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna give kind of a mini review. So next up is Hidden Figures. First off, this movie has a really great cast. Uh, Taraji P. Henson, Janelle Monae, and Octavia Spencer all, are all really good in this. Um, I saw this late. I saw this over March break in Florida. But I, a friend of mine wanted to give me this, so I paid him a cheap price to get the 4K. So I got this, and um, I really like this movie. It's a really feel-good movie. Um, I like the music they used in it. However, the style and format of the movie felt a little bland and unoriginal. But overall, it tells a really nice story. It's about these three girls who work for NASA and the math department, and they kind of helped the first rocket get into space. So it's, it's a neat story. 
Um, something you might have not known going in, but it's definitely worth checking out as a biopic or a true story kind of movie. Overall, I really enjoyed it. It's a 7 out of 10 for me. Next up is Fist Fight, and honestly, I really enjoyed Fist Fight. I actually saw this back in theaters back in February. All of these movies I've seen in theaters and I just didn't have a chance to review. Just as a disclaimer, Warner Brothers actually did send me this. I didn't pay for it. So yeah, they're not paying me to say this, but I'm going to review the movie. Kind of gave me a 1980s John Hughes-esque vibe to it, but instead of starring the teenagers in high school, it stars the teachers, and they're all completely vulgar, it's an insane movie, completely, read it, completely rated R, and I liked it. I loved Charlie Day and Ice Cube, both of them were really funny, although Charlie Day's voice kind of gets on my nerves, they were both very funny in this movie. Jillian Bell and Tracy Morgan were okay, um, they had fairly small parts and I didn't find either of them that funny in it though, but I do love the one day aspect of this movie. This movie takes place on the last day of high school in June, and I like that, it's a beginning of the day to end of the day kind of movie, and Although at times it does kind of feel unrealistic, I mean, uh, both of the main characters end up going to jail at one point, it's a fun movie. Also the fight in this movie was quite clever and well choreographed, um, some of the weapons that they used and overall, it was a fun watch. And it was also kind of funny to point out that the fight in this, the fight in Fist Fight, starring Ice Cube and Charlie Day, is a longer fight than the fight in Batman v Superman, so that's something. Overall, Fist Fight's a light, fun, fast-paced movie, and if you just want to have a good time, I'd watch it. I'd give it a 6 out of 10. And finally, one of my favorite movies of the year so far, Get Out. I love Get Out. It is one of the most original movies of the year. Jordan Peele's directorial debut is fantastic. I don't care if he never acts a day in his life again as long as he stays in the directing chair. Because my oh my did he do an incredible job in this movie. I also really like the acting. Daniel Kaluuya, Allison Williams, and Lil Rel Howery were all very good in this movie as well as the parents. I really enjoyed them. The story takes something that you expect what it is and completely flips it on the head. I don't even want to tell you the plot of the movie. Anybody who's asked me, I don't tell them. I tell them just to go watch this movie and with other people because you are going to have a good ass time. And it's a 9 out of 10 for me. I love this movie. love the music in it. Everything about it. It's funny. It's a little scary. It's thrilling. It's a really good watch. Also, the alternate ending on the Blu-ray sucks. It's, it's really dumb, and I'm really glad they used the ending that they did. Next up are some movies that my good friend Daniel Asbel gave to me. Uh, his Twitter handle is Daniel underscore Asbel. Um, go follow him. He's a cool guy. He likes movies like me. We share a lot of the same opinions. So yeah, we both hated Wonder Woman, so there's that. So out of all these movies, I kind of traded with him, or he got for me. Anyways, first off, he got Pitch Perfect. I love this movie. If you don't, you can go be unhappy. Um, today actually picked me up v Suit Don John, which is a great movie. And um, over here is The Master. I haven't seen this yet. I'll definitely make sure to check it out. He's also picked up for me The Departed, Carol, and The Help. I haven't seen any three of these. I definitely got to get to it because all these movies are supposed to be fantastic. And finally, my favorite thing out of all these, other than The Room, obviously, is the Steelbook. So this time I got the Rogue One Steelbook. In the next update, I'll be talking about another Steelbook that I got that's even more rare than this one. This one's pretty rare. Um, so yeah, I like the discard. I like behind it. It's the character profiles overall. Rogue One, I mean, it's Star Wars. I've talked about it before. I'll link my review to this one in the description, as well as all the other movies I've talked about before in the past. Uh, so yeah. This is a pretty nice steel book. It's not the best, but I'll take it. It's cool. By the way, I'm not going to be needing the UV code for Fist Fight. So whoever wants it, takes it. Daniel, you don't take it, alright? Or Ben. Or, I don't know, anybody else. But there. Whew. So guys, I hope you liked this little kind of minor Blu-ray update video. Um, if you do, make sure you like and subscribe. And stay tuned, I'll be doing it again soon. Also, I'm going to have reviews for The Mummy coming up, Cars 3, 
all that stuff. I'll also be talking about Baby Driver once I see it again. So anyways, you guys are awesome. I'll see you guys later. Bye.